frozen. Hey. Shaped like a dragon. Hi guys and welcome to Frosty's Bushcraft. I am Frosty, your host, and this is actually my second attempt at well, making a video. The first one was a few days ago. We were on a raft in the middle of a lake and there was supposed to be some rain and thunder. And instead of that the sun was working like 110%. So traff was overheating and uh, before anyone comments, Treff is a runner, he's not a swimmer, he hates water. And I got sunburned real bad, so we bailed, well, actually we went to shore and, you know, relaxed and enjoyed the day, but we didn't film anything. So, today's, today's a lucky day. No rain as far as I know and uh, yeah where this forest around you can see there's a bunch of tall spruce yeah there's a bunch of tall spruce around and I'll make, I'm not sure what I'll make, but I'll make an interesting shelter, I'll make a raised bed, cook some food, enjoy the day, share it with you guys, and yeah, that's it, stay tuned. So I was here last fall, I think, or end of the fall, start of winter, and check this out. I used this stick to hold my tarp, I just stuck it in, stuck it in the ground, and look at it now. <laughs> so cool. Problem with my area is always finding a flat spot and well that's one of the reasons I usually make an elevated shelter or a raised bed and that's what I'm gonna do today so tarp goes between these two trees here goes my raised bed fireplace will be where you are and uh, yeah that's it
So, for all of you thinking Tref might be hungry, he's not. He's never hungry. Uh, he always gets his meal, we just do it off camera because giving a, <laughs> giving a dog his kibbles is not really interesting to watch. <laughs> What's up? And he wants to play. Now, this place has a lot of dead standing spruce trees, which is actually sad, but it makes making my shelter and my bed a lot easier. So, yeah, off to work. Level enough.
so my bed's finished and if you're thinking this took like forever to make it took me exactly one hour and 20 minutes which is definitely not quick but that's with filming uh, I usually do it in maybe 30 40 minutes uh, definitely not quick but so comfortable it doesn't matter if the terrain is flat or not and you're out of the way of the creepy crawlers just a second <laughs> got it I hate mosquitoes uh, so yeah well worth of time and uh, few of you asked me asked ask, ask me <laughs> uh, where does Treff sleep well usually he sleeps like this uh, where my legs are and uh, well Treff being a schnauzer which is well terrier blood he usually sleeps for a hour or two then runs around then gets bored sleeps a while then runs around so yeah <laughs> Never gets tired. So now that my bed's finished, uh, I have to put my tarp up. I'll just make a lean to between, between these two trees. And then fire and then finally lunch because I'm starving. Trev had his meal already. So yeah, no rest for the wicked.
Well, that was easy, uh, we're out of water, so I have to go back down to the stream from the end of the video to get it, and I have to find the hazel branch uh, so I can make some tea or coffee, definitely coffee. That was refreshing, and I know there's gonna be comments about it, so let me just tell you, I have never ever had problems drinking uh, water from mountain streams, uh, and that's why I'm not boiling it. Uh, the spring of that spring creek stream, never mind, the spring was maybe 20-30 feet from where I was standing so I know this water is clean 
and uh, Greece actually has really clean water in general so just that want some no okay so it's lunch time and coffee time I forgot my branch mm. now before you start laughing and I know you will uh, you know how people usually have those cool lunch boxes stainless steel titanium whatever well I have this one a frozen <laughs> uh, yeah I have kids and my daughter wanted me to have this so that's what I'm rocking today now that I think about it uh, frosty and frozen kind of go together and this is what I have today I have some paprika some onion some soft cheese real cheese eggs and bacon and this thing is my homemade spicy oil it's actually an olive oil I've got from a friend that makes it and uh, it had a bunch of butyolokias inside for almost half a year so I'm looking forward to trying it and I'm also a bit scared Want some paprika? Come on, Come on eat it! Mmm! <laughs> oh, I'll just let this cool down a bit. Hey. A few months ago I could leave food on the table through the whole night and never had an issue with it. But then Things started disappearing and I'm not sure what's happening you became a jerk yeah you became a jerk Simple as that. Doesn't have to be complicated to work.
so while my coffee is cooling down and while you can still see me I want to show you something you know some of you know I have a thing for flashlights I have a bunch of them I made a few I modified a few different LEDs different drivers you name it and today I have two really cool flashlights I'm not doing a review right now I'll do it sometime later but I just want to show because they're really cool. First one is from Armitech and you guys know I love Armitech. I have a long-standing cooperation with them. Uh, this one is the Wizard CR C2VR as in white and red because it has well white and red light and it's really cool. I love red light because it doesn't impair your night vision and attracts, doesn't attract uh, uh, insects. And also I've got a... Uh, what is this thing? This thing. This thing is a lantern. It's got a warm light, a white light, anything in between. It's really strong. It lasts a while. Uh, it's, got, it's also got a red light. Uh, all Color, colors are dimmable and uh, yeah I prefer this to you know those big chunky oil lights because lanterns because oil lanterns can you know spill and catch fire and are clumsy and don't really give much light so I prefer things like this uh, and uh, yeah it's coffee time and the sun's setting out in around half an hour so yeah it was a cool day this place is beautiful it's really relaxing and uh, if you enjoy this video I have a bunch of more on my playlist uh, somewhere or I always forget which side so be sure to check them out and yeah that's it uh, coffee time Did anyone ever notice that Croatia is shaped like a dragon? You've got his head right here, his wings, his body, his tail, his legs, he's spewing fire all over the place. Really cool, huh? Better than shape of a boot or an apple. <laughs> Okay, good to go. Trev! Time to get my bed ready and this here is Trev's sleeping bag. I doubt he'll use it tonight because it's fairly warm and he may not need it but it's here nonetheless and this one is mine.
I'll just get Treff's bed ready in case he wants to sleep on something soft. Uh, that's it. And in a couple of minutes it's gonna be bedtime. Uh, if you're wondering why is everything red, well, because if we don't like mosquitoes, so I turned only red lights and oh, yeah, that's that's comfy. I have a feeling I could sleep just like this without a sleeping bag, but yeah, in a few hours it's gonna get cold. So, yeah, Trev, where's this guy? Trev, come on, Doji, come on, come on, hop. Here, there you go, bravo, there you go, that's a good boy. Uh, he tired, I know I am. Oh, guys, uh, that's it for today. So now, time to get some rest and yeah, that's it. See you guys in the morning. Hey! <sighs> morning folks it's uh, let me just check it's 5 15 a.m. and yeah I just woke up um, I I have to get packing because it's work day and I have to be at work in an hour and a half so yeah I don't have much time really
guys that's it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you next time stay frosty my friends